let's get the game started. So Hannah, you're going to reach into the box, let us know what you're feeling, and then give us your best guess as to what skin condition that's supposed to be. This is a pickle. <laughs> I mean, how Which, do you know uh, that immediately? I held a pickle in my hand before. How does it feel? <laughs> What does it feel like? <laughs> I'm very sorry. It feels um, kind of uh, rough and bumpy. Uh -huh. um, you know which one I think this is? It's the last one that you said. Pillow because it's um, it's pillow. hard, uh -huh. okay. but it has it's like bumpy. Is this like the shape of like a? Oh, is it the shape skin? too? No, but the feel of it, the surface, like the opposite corner, like the very. When we we're talking about like what is this and you knew what it was, it feels really. Oh, because it has the like the texture and bumpy yes. like on a like on a ligament. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yes, I guess so. It's like a ligament. I mean, not yes. that ligament. Yeah. Get your head out of the gutter. You said it. I didn't. Say it. <laughs> so it's like uh, the stuff on your. Yeah, like the, the, that's what it feels keratosis like. Mm -hmm. polaris. Mm -hmm. I think so. I, I think so. Then you're right, though. This pickle, like I am. <laughs> yes, you probably should. So I actually have some friends that have dealt with this. Mm -hmm. Well, not the pickle, but the feeling of it on their the keratosis yes. polaris. How do you treat that? Because I know that people have struggled. My friends have struggled with it for a long time. Yeah, and it's really embarrassing to people. I think the two things that bother people the most is the bumpiness, the feeling of it. Like they don't want someone to reach up and stroke mm -hmm. their arm or if they're wearing something strapless, they're embarrassed about it because of the color and the bumps mm -hmm. and the splotchiness. So it is a tough thing for people to deal with and um, just know there are things to help treat it. And there are two things really they're kind of directed at. One is to sort of smooth it out and the other is to minimize or lighten the spots that can happen with it. Usually they're red spots or brown mm -hmm. spots. So um, really there's like great treatment options. The main things that we look for are hydroxy acids, which are like um, glycolic acid and salicylic acid and lactic acid. We have a body smoothing system with um, SLMD skincare and it's glycolic acid that really helps to smooth the skin down and flatten the bumpiness, but also it's gonna help to lighten brown spots mainly that people get from it. So it's really like a, a two-in-one thing. So there's a wash and a lotion that we apply. And doing that's gonna help to keep this in check. But of course, it's not something that you can really cure. You just try to keep control of it. If you get red bumps from it though, you wanna use like a topical steroid cream. Like we have a Super Cortisone Plus, and that's really great to help minimize the redness and the inflammation. Okay, Mr. Adam, number two. Okay, are you ready? Okay, yes. Is are you cheat? ready? I don't know. I'm just gonna go for it. Ew. Yeah, usually I don't touch these without gloves on. Yeah, is this chicken? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's mm -hmm. the lymph lymphoma. Yes. You're yeah. right. This, this is the one when they when you get them yes, out and, and they're huge and, and they're like pop out. Yes. That's what it feels like. Oh, good yeah. guess. Well, I don't know. I don't touch it with my hands, but that is what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, you might want to wash your hands up to that one. <laughs> But yes, that's a chicken breast. I often say it looks like a chicken cutlet. It does. Right? Yes. I've watched all the videos. Right. Lipoma is like a little utopia, I say. It's like fat cells that decide to like just collect on their own and create their own little world under your skin. So it's all like a clonal collection of fat cells benign, but it just scares people because sometimes it grows up really big. Oh my gosh, so that was bad. Yeah. Yeah, and that can really cramp your stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, but what, if you cut it open, is it just thick? Same thing, just like that. If you cut in chicken, it just looks solid. It looks like that. Oh my god, interesting. Which is why when I cook, I can't touch this with my bare hand. You notice I'm not touching it. Yeah. Because I'm not <laughs> interested in touching it. So Mr. Adam, number three. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's like chunky and bumpy. What could it not be? It's not an <laughs> abscess. I think it could be, but it's not supposed to be in this okay. one. A cyst? Yes, like a cyst can be. I, it can be like this, chunky? Yes, it can come out and chunky. Why do I keep times. touching it? Because you want to really touch a cyst like that. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It's egg salad. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> no. That is a lot of times what a cyst looks like sometimes. It's I guess it kind of does. Yeah. But 
Is it have the chunks in it like well, that? Well, if it's partially watered down, like sometimes it gets like liquefied. So like those are all like this. This is all supposed to be skin cells. Oh, but okay. sometimes it gets, yeah, you can wipe your hand off. Okay, great. Say, yeah. um, so yeah. what do we do to treat a cyst? We usually like excise it or you could leave it alone, possibly. The main issue is if it gets inflamed or infected or, or um, just upset and then it becomes an abscess and then it causes a lot of pain and yes. stress for people. But a lot of times when people come to see me, they just don't like that bump under the skin because they feel like you can see it. And, yeah. and sometimes it could smell. To me, it would smell like um, oh, toe like. jam that you've kept in like a jar for like 10 years. Oh. Like you collected. You it's know just how I cells. know this? <laughs> I know the smell because yeah. one time, I'm, I've actually already did this in my vlog, talked about my brother. But this one time we were on the way, I was like probably maybe my first year in high school, he was in middle school. And I look back and I'm talking to him in the car, mom's driving us, and I'm like, what is in your eyebrow? And then my mom was like, Hannah, you have to help your brother out. You gotta get that out. It was like purpley brown and it came out green and it stunk. Yeah, so his had a little bacteria involved, that's why it turned green most likely, and then it smells even stronger. It was disgusting. I was like, Ugh. Yeah. But it was also amazing though, and it's disgusting. Honestly, it was like, it was really cool, like how it came out. Like I couldn't believe what came out of his eyebrow, but it also smelled, and I, it stuck to me. Yeah. This is the number four. Hey, that's like your, your brother's eyebrow. Yes. It's like a, so, so it's a, this is like a pimple. Yeah, so I actually brought you one though, so okay. you could get a fresh oh my one, gosh. so that you could pimp, pinch it. What is really interesting is these taste so good, but for me, can like, you eat them? I can I can talk about food, like I can talk about how something looks like egg salad and then eat an egg salad sandwich afterwards. Oh, I'm totally gonna eat one of these. Yeah, but I <laughs> look at this and I can't I have to close my eyes when I eat it. I love too. cupcakes. Yeah. I love popping pimples and, and cupcakes. Both, like, you have to you have to take videos of it. I will. So but that's that was really a cool. good pimple. That was a good, that's like a satisfaction. That's the one that smells. Smell I'm good. disgusting, I've realized. <laughs> but like when you pop it and you're in the uh, mirror and it goes in the mirror. Yes. We, everybody knows what I'm talking about because <laughs> you've all done it. I'm just being honest. How would you treat different types oh. of pimples? Um, well, that kind of pimple that was like probably, that's like more what we would say an inflammatory papule. Like there's like three stages of pimples. There are Blackheads and whiteheads, which are really kind of like the building blocks of mm -hmm. them, and that and when th those are like the primary stage, and then you get if you get bacteria involved, and they kind of thrive within your pores, that's when you get that inflammatory papule, like a pimple like that, you know, where it gets red and you can feel it underneath there, and you know it's coming up to the surface, um, and that's that kind of case. And then there's like the level of more severity, where you have like cysts and nodules and things like that, which is um, deeper underneath the skin and sometimes they don't come to the surface. But um, that kind of pimple, you really want to treat it with like something that treats bacteria, like benzoyl peroxide. Mm -hmm. You can find that kind of thing over the counter. Um, you also want to probably treat with a retinol, the black hens or right heads, so they don't turn mm -hmm. into that. So it's really a nice thing to do, like our acne system has all of that and salicylic acid, which helps to kind of clean out your pores. So salicylic acid and retinol really help more so with blackheads and whiteheads, trying to prevent the acne from turning into something red. But when you have the red painful pimple, you want to use benzoyl peroxide, spot treatment even on them, so that you have like a little mini pimple mask to help mm -hmm. you know treat it and keep your hands off the area. It also, that's what it also helps to do. And if you have problems with benzoyl peroxide, you want to use sulfur which is also a great treatment option. Why would somebody have to? Sometimes people have issues with benzoyl peroxide because it can be a little drying and irritating to some people. So if they don't want to use that or they just don't like it, you can use sulfur. So those are the two main things that I recommend. Cool. I Got think it. I've used like all of that. Everything, right? Yeah. You have to try it. Yeah, that's oh, what, your yeah. skin looks great, so. It does. Thank you. On okay. to the next mystery well, item. Are you ready for grossness? Yeah. I like her. She's an Alabama girl. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't phase her at all. Okay, Hannah, you're up. Oh, it's spaghetti. I can smell it. Okay, I feel like, so it like comes out like this. Yeah. Like I was gonna say that, cause sometimes the blackheads come out like really like 
yeah like a true, silicone but it, or whatever yes, but, that but would it be, wouldn't be like bloody and right, gross like, like a little this. shoot of grass kind of they do this little yeah like, coming out, it. like our cactus right there they come out like yes yeah but that's not what this exactly is so um, no it's probably more like oozy when it gets inflamed and angry do you like, think it's this? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think it'd be more like that, but it'd probably be more watered down. I thought we were doing like spaghettios, which is similar, but like it's more watery. Watery. Yeah, because you said the Cause watery because it, it comes out. but yeah. it's red. But you can't see that it's red. But yeah, I'd probably feel like that. But again, and your hand would probably be like that if you squeezed it. <gasps> so clean your hand up, please. Oh, it would be it's like gross. blood. Yeah, like gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please take away the abscess. <laughs> You did really well. Thank you. I think we need a little cheers for that. I, I hope you had too. fun and learned something. It was so fun. Cheers. 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 Thank you, Dr. Sandra Lee. Thank you, Hannah Thank Brown. you. It was fun.